pretty much more than this one. Look, they, they need to do something. They need to do something. The pressure on Universe coming in deep here as they're trying to just find a way to keep their barracks alive. Gunner going in deep, finds a little stash of creeps there, which are doing so much to buff up this team. Is able to take them down, but their barracks are gone. Armel comes in from behind, gets the mega creeps, and now looking for some heroes as well. NIP, they need to find a miracle to turn this game around as they have lost just about everything. Skidder trying to do something, but he dies, buys back. You're just fighting in an empty base right now. PPD playing ring around the tower for not much reason. Can they find two? They've got the chains out onto both on the back lines, but their towers are just falling. This last track at 25 is doing way too much. Skidder has to back himself off. PPD as well falling low. They're just standing in front of their faces and melting their bases. Uh, getting so low here, they try to get Gunner with the combo. They don't get him, but Slark certainly will. Universe a little bit too late with the call. Can they bring down this Slark for a 50? is stolen Aji as in comes a black hole BPD and by the will both fall matter yeah it's over feeling like I mean they might still be able to hold on they're getting this super farm slark to blow up the less track but still keeping him alive look at the oh, heels the coils. look at the heels what is this what is this even for such a long time Gabby finally dies the throne is exposed Armel get to work but NIP they're all up right now can they actually make this defense they bring down Armel they bring down KP five for the five man back hole Tims he's doing it he's ending the game all by himself fine he's Says, I will do it myself and Tim's very low. Look how low Saber Light is. Way too many to finish up Roshan. Get the Aegis into some males. Hey, Don't man. make the mistake of fighting after oh, Saber, Saber, Light. Dude, Saber Light. Saber Light. Oh, chill. They do have the ultimate come down for the Connell. That is a beautiful intercession. But here comes the big bad Morphling. Looking to be able to chase down heroes with his enchant totem agon scepter, but with no support. Maybe he can't actually do this at all, Where especially since he can't actually fight the gyrocopter. He's got the extra life. The missile. Watch out for the missile dream. He's going to heal himself up a little bit silent on to the uh, earth shaker you scepter to be able to take that off you are trying to beat down fng right now and does manage to get the kill maldix still on him he's going to be taken down very low but oh MSS. he's going to be grabbed onto dream not able to execute him fast enough shots low with the oh, first oh. strike but a beautiful enchant totem coming out from dream that's going to be able to nail two here comes the epicenter long range from shots low not going to find anything but the echo slam will find two that's yawar and svg Four dead, Gyrocopter will limp away, beaten and humiliated, but alive. Are they going to make it back in time? They're oh, the smoked, the smoked Jakiro. They're going to see this. Oh, God. It's going to be a slaughter. Flying Pandas. No, oh they're God. all inside the pit. The Macropire's down as well. Alliance, look at him go. The Nico Baby just comes flying in like a goddamn blood-seeking missile. Down goes Moon. Down goes Naking. Down goes Bryl. Eternal Envy dead as well. And Aoi to make it all five. Flying Pandas fighting Pandas. Quincy Crew playing the right-hand side of this lane. Boogie is trying to slide in behind again. Another void onto Sumail. Do we have a silence? We do in three seconds. Yol, what is that? Like his 11th death? 10th death in a row. Makes a void silence. The blend. Hero's gone. MP will just about clip the DK. Boogie is found. Yol with a bash and the ignite there. The chrono. Two of them caught, but the damage is lacking. The follow through not coming. Then Frit Hurricane. Pike away. And Void. He's gonna have to jump back. Stable Light needs to sprint away, but the Thunder Strike is there. Nico just keeps his vision going, and the jump in from the DK. They're onto the Grimstroke. The Sumail, oh, Ace Static from Storm is beautiful! Gorgeous ulti from Nico. Wish will not survive, but it is absolute perfection from this disruptor. Worst hero? No, no tail. Nico is the best. That's one way to uh, establish some dominance. They do have a uh, level 25 coming in very soon for this Faceless Void. And that is massive. If he managed to backtrack an enchant totem hit from the Morphling. Like, call it. They're going to be able to find the initiation under Armel, who's super tanky. The Meteor's going to be able to bring down about three quarters, but oh, then he Dream's going to be used. He jumps forward. Dream what is going to be forward, but he's already been tossed up, being chain stunned up. Does manage to get up his BKB, though. He's going to continue to try and get this kill under Armel. They tried four with the Cataclysm, with all the damage coming out from Dream. It's still not even close to being enough. Armel is sitting at a very healthy 50%, while Gabby is going for the back line. He's already managed to finish up the Rana. Looks like he should be able to get shots as well. No, four Sap gets him back into the fountain. Dream with the Chronosphere to be able to fight Gabby. He needs to pray for chain stuns here, and he's not going to be able to get it either. He does have a buyback, but Gabby, oh, a man to dodge on the call from Shotzilla, so he can keep on swinging on a GPK with Tim's hitting a three-man echo slam. Just the 
the cherry on top for TNC as they just whomp on Gambit. They establish very clearly that this was an 80-20 victory. Ooh. I'm not sure what you're doing, but this isn't even the peak of your strength. You could wait a minute and 15 seconds, that's all. But they won this tier three real badly. The Fire Blast multicast. Oh, they are going to be able to Hanskin. get the duel coming out from the Legion Commander onto Hanskin, turning out some of that damage. Not quite enough to be able to win the duel, though. Hanskin eventually falls. The Black Hole! Oh, Black Hole! <laughs> Damn! He's finally here! And he nails a four man Black Hole to be able to win the fight. Is Gabby going to be able to chase down one and two? And Berspirit, though, gets away from that silence. He does get some slight of fist with the buybacks coming out from Alliance. Maybe they can win the second part of this fight. They might meet some more objectives like killing the cause. Ember would be a massive target for them. But the smoke breaks from Javi. Chrono on the three. Oh, one well, as well. Gonna get the low. Lena will be the first to go down. Now disruption. Now they're just trying to solo out the same time. Pulling as you get the save there with the false promise, but it will be there before the Oracle drops. So they won't get the dual win, but they will most definitely get the Centaur kill. Mm -hmm. On the bright side, Ember Spirit does manage to get away. But Centaur... He's wasting the time a lot. He's wasting a lot of time. Run, horsey, run. If the end does die, Nico Baby gets a double kill, and that smoke was really good. This time, I'll just take the cheese. I know you're going to be the first one in. In the mid lane, first in is Moon Meander. Not willingly for the moment, but you can't prioritize too much of your resources on killing the Abad. However, there go. he jump in. There it is. Eurus goes for the kill onto Aoi. He can't move away quick enough. We'll go down to the wave pool now since the game's control of Miata. Down to half HP. Has to pop the ultimate, but the Yule's going to waste a lot of his borrowed time. And you are running on borrowed time here. He's going to be followed up the raids. And this is it. Echo Slam Zhao Yu catches two. TA jumps straight into the mess. Didn't even get a chance to BKB. Aegis already gone. Aoi will buy back, but Envy's only just arriving in the fight. BKB. Graf trying to up against him. Has to blink away though. Rupture comes out to Eurus. So Envy now needs to run away from this, but they're going to keep on chasing the stun follow up is good MV is dead pyw and the up. hunt can't find the final kill as brawl retreats to the south man it's just the story of these agony scepters and some heroes dragon tail stun dump who you think about coming in for his own yeah he's gonna dust so there's no gloomer cave protection either stinger trying to get some distance the breathe fire any kind of damage they've got it will be enough wyvern is down buyback to babble he'll commit it to now Ah, uh, the Broodmother, BKB, finds their own target. It's the Undying, bring him down quickly. But then DK, hexed up for the moment. Maybe they can keep that control going, and then DK won't have any level of damage. Movie comes over, able to get that nice big silence out, giving Nefrit a little bit more space to get back, but CK, still too strong. Now to bring in this DPS they've been requiring for so long, the RP, everybody! The marches. It's the penthouse! A double kill for K1. The Master Machines was doing some work, but K1 still gets a triple kill. The heart comes online, and so does Beast Coast. That was the fight they were looking for. They got the heart as you said. Meanwhile, Black Dragon doing it strong. Hitting the tier four towers. Now another pullback in. A six seconds done from K1 on the Night Stalker. But four staffs available. Getting the Night Stalker away to safety. Tier 4 towers are down. There's still no big AoEs. Where is that Magnus? Here he comes. There's your double RP. The storm is good. It's going to do its work. Whisper. And the second one. Hold them in together. There's just war trying to hit into the dire range. It appears this job. But have they got enough life? They're focusing. K1 gets the four seconds off. Chris Lux in the back lines. He's killing off the Tinker. He's got him down. No problem. It was a dieback for him. DK. the job. DK. He can't die. Tusk, I'll go kill them. Whereas Boogie can then find a nice call. Somebody gets a hex off. They can switch up. Gonna come out. They're gonna try and use this early hex. Try and get an instant pick off. Force up on the call. Boogie getting two crystals. And that's where Alliance throughout the season has looked so good. Their mid game is 
maybe the best right now, uh, aside from TNC. The fearless warder, he's gonna run smoke into smoke, and that is just not an initiation point. The right hand side epileptic kid has already killed Fada. BKB activated by Limp is gonna try and imprison out, but epileptic kid is just demolishing the supports. And now he can focus on the carries. Nico Baby's BKB is gonna run out sometime soon. 33 is already dead. Nico Baby can't run fast enough. There's just not too many low heroes on the side of VP. It's really only solo. And now with so many 5 x coming in, this is gonna be the last stand from Alliance. They have to be able to save Limp, but they're not able to. He does have a buyback. 33 tries to go for the RP, but no one was around. And this is just the end. Alliance have been thoroughly stumped by Virtus Pro. And DK will TP in. Gyrocopter playing from the tree lines. Armel's waiting the timeout, just trying to get in range for that Dragon Tail stump because he doesn't have the range form just yet. But Edgar! Vampire! It's the back lines that keep the chainsaws going. DK's gonna go down again. TNT under the tier one tower. Get pounced by Gambit. It was the bad rider double last over four, but now it's the slam. It's dead, but who's there? March is there. Observers and sentries. Oh. There's a grim stroke for the double stones and the double lasso. Get back down here. Get your feet wet. TNC. The call down. The feature is blocked. The DK in. And down goes one. Wait for ES. He's still got the extra same. Vampires waiting the back lines. There will be the TP out under the BKB of DK.